what's good guys hope you're having a chill day today we're going to be going over a quick tip on how to do some cool pixelated effects on photoshop and illustrator i was recently going through these super rad inspirations and found these gems and they all have this lo-fi pixelated effect that i've always wondered how they're made this effect can be used on typography or any vectorized imagery or illustration and has a pretty fresh look if you're going for a more stylized and funky aesthetic so i found out a way to create this effect is to use a combination of the programs adobe illustrator and photoshop so adobe illustrator will be used to create a font logo or vectorized illustration and then you bring that into photoshop to create that pixelated look using the mosaic effect then if you wanted to vectorize what you've made and scale it however large you want you'll take that photoshop file and put it into adobe illustrator again and select the image trace tool and that will allow you to automatically scale it however big you want i know it sounds like a long process and involves a couple of programs but it's actually really quick and easy we're going to be designing some typography and imagery with this pixelated effect so sit back relax and Let's get to it. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with typography first. And so let's open up Adobe Illustrator and let's create a composition. Let's set the composition to 1920 by 1080, kind of the standard size for any screen. And we're just gonna open that up. And a quote that we're gonna use is from this epic Nike campaign where it's yesterday you said tomorrow, just do it. It's a pretty cool quote that we could use to stylize and pixelate that effect. We're going to choose a really fun font, kind of similar to those examples we showed earlier where there's a bit of a scripty old English style to it. So we're just going to look through our crazy font library and choose what font we think looks best. And this one looks pretty cool, Og Roman. And we're just going to select that. Let's play with the tracking and lighting, just see how that feels. And once we feel good about that, we're going to bring that into Photoshop. So let's open up Photoshop set the dimensions to 1920 by 1080 similar to the adobe illustrator file and we're just going to copy and paste that illustrator file into photoshop as a smart object let's center that and now we're going to go to filter pixels and let's press mosaic and it's going to show you this little chart where you could choose the cell size and really customize it to how you feel it and you could just drag it and see how intense you want that pixelated effect to go to. And just keep in mind that the more pixelated you make it, it's going to challenge the legibility. So really give it that good feeling where it's in between. It's really stylized, but you can also read it, which is pretty important. Size 8 looks pretty good. After we feel good about that mosaic effect, we're going to merge that vector smart object with the white background so we could threshold it to give it that hard pixelated look. So we're going to select the vector object and that layer 0 which is that white background and then we're going to merge it. And after that's completed, we're going to go to image, adjustments, and then threshold. And then threshold is another chart that you could use to intensify that pixelated look. So we're going to just play with that and, and make it not too extreme. So that feels really good. And yeah, it's super cool. Similar to the previous examples we showed and digging it. And we're going to take this file and if you want to vectorize it, for example, you want to make it into a logo or you want to scale it however big or small you want. What we want to do is put it back into Illustrator. So a really quick hack I do is make it large enough to fit my screen and quickly screenshot that and drag that screenshot into Adobe Illustrator. So after we put in Adobe Illustrator, it's really simple. What we want to do is hit object image trace and hit make and as you can see it turned into a vector we could change the colors really easily on adobe illustrator and really customize it to your liking now that that's done since we already have this slogan already made let's choose a different font to see how that looks in a pixelated format as well so for this one we could choose a heavily illustrated font more exaggerated than our previous one and this one's called zappafino which is it sounds pretty fancy so we're going to grab that do exactly the same thing as we did before Put that into Photoshop, let's center it, and we're going to hit Filter, Pixelate, and Mosaic. You know, because it is the same size, usually we might stick with the same cell size treatment, so around 8 or 9. We're going to merge that white background with the vector Smart Object, and then we're going to go to Image, Adjustment, and click on that threshold. And as you can see, that threshold really exaggerated what we like and we want to bring it back and intensify it less so it's more legible. So as you can see, as we slowly drag the bar more towards the right, it shows more of those details that are missing, like those strokes above the D and under the Y. So let's do that quick hack and screenshot that, drop it back into Illustrator, do the object image trace, make, and as you can see, 
it vectorized it similar to the one before and yeah those are two different styles of the same slogan yesterday you said tomorrow just do it and we're just going to drag these two quotes and put it on top of an image and make a imaginary cool nike campaign just to see how that looks and that's pretty rad let's move on to some vector illustrations so up next we have four kawaii and hella cute illustrations that we took off from the web and we just want to see how this pixel effect could change them and make them into a different style so the first one is like this frog farmer guy kind of walking down the street with some boots and we're just going to drag him and open up photoshop again let's set the composition to a more square size because these guys shapes are a little more square like so we're going to do 2000 by 2000 we're going to hit ok paste that small object inside the scale it a little large and center it and then we're going to hit filter pixelate and let's hit mosaic and we're going to play with that cell size again 18 feels pretty good so we're going to press ok and then we're going to merge that vector smart object with the layer zero which is the white background and let's go to image adjustment and then threshold and voila looks pretty cool pretty stylized in that retro low bit way we're going to ghetto screenshot that put it into our illustrator and then let's hit image trace and as you can see for some of the details it's a little less refined for example the eyeball so what's missing is that nice white circle around the pupil which the pixelated form is missing it looks a little messy so what's cool about after vectorizing this is we could go back and really play with extending some of those white negative spaces really easily so all we have to do is grab the edges and then just drag it out it's just as simple as that and it cleans it really nice and easily and as you can see it looks much better like that with those white around it we're gonna do the same for the next illustration which is cute little guys hugging the world and we're just gonna do this exact same thing And there we have it. Here's some side-by-side -side comparisons of all of those illustrations with each other. And you know, it's definitely a preference and a style depending on what type of look you're trying to go for. But you can see it really changes the look and feel of it. Makes it a little bit more warmer, a little childlike in a way. But yeah, definitely have fun and play with this tool. And lastly, we're gonna play with the photo itself. And you know, keep in mind that photos have a lot of details and applying this pixelate effect will really minimize and simplify the photo really deeply. So sometimes it may not even look like what you want it to look like. You know, some of the details will be gone too much and it really changes the way the photo feels, which might be a good thing as well, but we could give it a try. So we have a cool street photography photo of, it kind of looks like a someone's yearbook. You know, she has this edgy look, which is really fun to play with. With. we're gonna go to the image size and see what we're working with so it's 1596 by 1958 which is a pretty good size image so we don't need to scale it large so what we want to make sure is go to image adjustment and hue saturation and we want to lower that saturation so we make sure that we're just working in black and white so what we want to do next is go to image mode and adjustments and play with the levels what you want to do is retain all that detail but also simplify it in a way and up the contrast so when we apply that mosaic effect it could keep and understand that some parts we really want which is the darkest parts and that's looking really good let's go to filter pixelate and hit mosaic and we're going to choose a cell size that's a little more extreme just to see how much we could get away with and see how that looks after that we're going to go to image adjustments we're going to hit threshold and as you can see it's crazy simplified it looks like it's only a few pixels which is pretty wild but also has a pretty cool look very gamerly like we're gonna go back and let's lessen that mosaic effect to see how much detail it can retain after that. So we're gonna Command Z that, and then we're gonna go to Filters, Pixelate, and hit that mosaic effect again, but lessen that cell size just to see how that looks. So currently we have it at 16. We're gonna drop that down to 10. Let's hit OK. Let's go to Image Adjustments and Threshold. And as you can see, some of the details, especially the shine around the hair, retains a lot more. And you know, her overall face and structure is a lot more detailed. And let's try one last time and lessen that cell size a little bit more just to see how much we get away with. We're gonna Command Z that. We're gonna hit that cell size to even less, around seven. And we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna go to Image, 
adjustments and let's hit threshold and as you can see it looks a lot more better especially the details around the nose and the lips and the sides retain even more so what's cool about threshold is we could play with that chart to see how much we want more simplified or how much more details we want which is pretty cool so yeah this was a really great example to show how much this pixelate effect will simplify your image so definitely have fun with it and just try it out to see if you like it or not all right guys, so that was one of the many ways to create that cool pixelate effect for any typography or vectorized imagery using Photoshop and Illustrator in combination. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip and that these tools could help make your rad and funky ideas come to life. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you wanna see more videos like these, please subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thanks again and see y'all soon. Peace.